In this video, you'll learn how to add footer menus. This section gets you familiar with very basic HTML by introducing unordered lists. I've listed a few resources for you below if you'd like to learn more or customize menus beyond what I do in this video. Let's get started. We want to transfer the text from your PDF to the website in the footer section. Let's start by copying the text from the footer menu TXT file. Let's say I want the first column to be populated with hyperlinks and be the same as my main navigation menu. When I select the footer menu file, I see the following text. I'll choose the top one because it links to different pages. Wherever you see a pound sign, you'll need to add the URL you want to link to. For home, it'll just be your domain. We'll say www.yoursite.com. Then you'll change the word item to whatever you'd like it to say on your site, in this case, home. For the next menu option, I want it to say about us, so I'll add the URL to that page. If you can't remember the URL, just go to Pages, All Pages, select the page you plan on linking to, and you'll find the URL under Permalink. Next, you'll change item to About Us. You can figure out the remaining menu options. When you're finished, copy the unordered list you just modified and navigate to Appearance, Widgets. On the right side, you'll see some different options, and we'll be focusing on these. Scroll down until you see TFuse Text, select Footer 1, and Add Widget. What you just did was add the ability to type HTML into the Footer 1 section. For the title, name it Quick Links or Navigation, whatever you like. And in the text area below, paste the HTML you just modified. Select Save. If you look at your site, you'll notice that there's a column in the footer menu, and that's the footer 1 section. Practice on your own by making the second menu in the footer 2 section, and I'll show you something for the third menu. Let's say you want to list a few insurance networks you're a part of at your practice. I'll go back to the footer menu file and modify the third option where there's only one hyperlink. I'll list a few insurance carriers and at the bottom I'll add a URL to the See More option. Now if I navigate back you'll notice you can't click on any of the links because they're only list items. Make your fourth menu and you'll be all set for this section. Here's just an example of what I came up with. In the next video I'll show you how to add a newsletter module to your site and that'll wrap up our landing page. See you there.